could swear I didn't see any clouds. What up, sick Vita? How you doing? Whoa. Okay, whenever I first moved, I got a little bit worried. So yeah, I read up, I saw that they are working hard on a new update for it. I'll be excited to see what it does, if I get to see it before I'm done with it. Really depends on how fast they get it out. another track sometimes even seasoned travelers needed a chance to get away from the hustle of the city it was always that way even in the olden days that's one of the reasons some moved here believe it or not the tracks you found here will lead you back into the thick of things eventually okay we're gonna change the automation skin because I did get one so we need to change it yeah and to that weird bug looking thing <laughs> whatever that is looks kind of like an ant You know, this game's so, like, like, just by the way it looks, you would think, oh, this is a super lighthearted game, and then they have, like, dead skeletons, or, like, skeletons and stuff laying around. <laughs> it's, I like the contrast. Squeeze up, and then down. Get the rhythm right. I love that. We can work out for extra vitality. No! Oh, cool. Okay, so the first time you run into a wall, you can't get through it. It tells you where click is. Oh, that's good. Because I had no idea where he was at. That's why I started to panic. <laughs> no idea. So let's go to Clink. I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch of like waypoints here. Like the fact that I don't have a waypoint between here and here is weird to me. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Huh. You better move. That monster is on its way to the Tree of Life. Says you'll meet again. Interesting. Okay. I do love that it has, like, different weather effects in the game. Even with the world ending, there are fresh days ahead.
I feel like I must have been over here before. Like I... Or we're about to find out. Oh wait, what's this? Gamma bust. What up, Nico? How you doing, boss? I may have to restart the game. I'm getting some weird, like... I don't know if you guys can tell it, but I'm getting some, like, weird, random, like, frame drops in the game. And to my knowledge, they haven't, like, updated or anything. Let's save this really quick and restart it. I'm also going to make sure, real quick, that there's not, like... Something else going on here. Dude, Pillars 1, I didn't get to finish playing it, but I would love to uh, get a chance to play it. Interesting. Okay. The computer seems fine. Uh, There's a... Graphics. Graphics update, but we're just going to ignore that. Because I should have checked that beforehand. Last night I didn't have one. I usually check that afterwards, after the fact. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Nico. Man, I loved it. I loved it. And I, you know, I was looking at what games to, uh, uh, like, I was trying to figure out what game I was going to play next after Biomutant, man, and there's honestly just so many choices. I, like, I'm not even sure. I looked up, uh, Ratchet and Clank, because I've never played those games. And I was thinking about playing the, the one, How can something as the PS4 one, so I'd be ready for Rift Apart, time. but then I found out that its playtime is only, like, 13 hours. And that blew my mind. I mean, it had good reviews, but its playtime was only 13 hours, so I didn't know what to think about that. You didn't know the first 10 hours you could enchant your gear anywhere, so it all went seamless after that? Really? Okay, something's weird, dude. Okay, y'all, bear with me. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to restart my computer real quick. It is not playing smoothly like it did yesterday, and I don't know why. I don't know why. So, I apologize, y'all. It's not something I plan on, let me tell you. Your party feels solid? Uh, what are you running in your party? Are you do, do you have uh, main characters in your party, Nico, or do you have uh, do you have like uh, characters you made? Weird.
Oh, no. I apologize for the small technical difficulties I'm having now. All right, hopefully that fixes it. Your main is a pally. You went monk, and the rest are main characters. All, all off the mage. Edder the fighter. I liked Edder. Well, then again, I liked all of all of them. Honestly, Tana the chanter and Durance the priest. Durance was OP whenever I got him. I'm actually. You, you can tell that it left an impression on me. I didn't even play. I don't even think I played half the game, and I still remember. Like, I recognize their names. They did a really good job, like making things feel dire in that game. All right. No matter what it's playing like, this is all I'm messing with it. Weird, dude. Uh... <laughs> what? What? Come on, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, there we go. Wonder if Toxanol had a deeper purpose with any of the bang shelters. This one, for example, Shelter 5D. Oh, it won't let me in that door there. This corner of the world is called Anywhere, which is maybe why Click calls it home. So much fun to sneak around here. Let's see. Chico. This fellow seems shocked to see you. He's heard about you, but figured you didn't have the guts to do what must be done to survive till the end of the world. Agrees, that's obviously true. Figures someone like you must be willing to do anything to stay alive, just like him. Now that you got this far, though, which way will you go? You seem like you're ready to make the hard choices and do the worst things to see this world wind down right. Guess is the end is coming either way. When there's nothing but a bad storm rising, it's ride or die. Asks you to think of the world like a set of locks. Every time you do something, you decide whether to open one or not. Would you go back and open different ones now? Says worse is relative. What's bad for you might be good for him. <laughs> Looks like the world's going to burn. The brighter, the better. Seems like you threw out the old plans for this world. Trying to start something new? He likes the Jagni you work with. He's liberated lots of things with them. And from them. It's not like anything they have was actually theirs, and they don't lock it down. You look like you'd be a fun lock to pick. Says back in the days, no one locked anything, but that's changed. 
Locking yourself in and others out is his key to survival. I'm a shark, lover. He keeps his business low key, but for the right person, he's willing to unlock secrets from the back then. The gears mesh well between you. It'll be easier for both if you just call him Clip. Mm, Lucas, uh, I enjoy the game. Uh, it does have its, it has a little, it has some flaws, but my overall experience with it is that I'm enjoying it. Yeah, <laughs> like. And it's, they're working on updates for it, so I can't say what it's going to feel like after their updates, but like currently, some things just feel a little unfinished. Other than that, man, I'm enjoying it. It's the, uh, the narration's kind of drawn out in a lot of instances, and the weapons and stuff feel a little weak, like, not that they don't do damage, but they, you don't feel oomph from them, and they said that they're working on a update now for that. So, I'm hoping the game feels a lot better afterwards. Says that's the right way to ask that question. Think of yourself first. Click says his key to success is metal. And judging from what he's heard about you, you're handy with metal too. Literally. If you charged a bar of metal at a toxin or zap station, he could forge it into the palm of your hand. That would help your clonk fist beat new paths into the future. Just flip the switch of a generator that produces superheated glowy air and get on it when the lightning charge forms. Simple, right? Thinks the biggest risks come with the best rewards. And by the way, welcome, Lucas. How are you today? I feel weird interrupting uh, the story. <laughs> uh, okay, so high voltage. We got to go locate the substation, which is right across the water here from the looks of it. You could have missed this village. It's called Mamble Clump. Oh, this they they we've got another side mission to like burn this place down. Here's all the waypoints I was missing. I guess I literally liked w Let's like see. walked right pa past all of them. And see, Lucas, man, that's hard because I... Okay, so here's the thing. Mass Effect Legendary Edition, what? That comes with three games, right? I, I think it comes with one through three, right? Uh, Man. I gotta say that Mass Effect has already, like, proven itself as, like... You know... Uh, mass... Okay, so here's the thing. Mass Effect is an absolutely amazing game. This game is beautiful. It's great to explore in. It's it's great to kind of take everything at your own pace. But if you want something that has like an amazing story, that has also equally as good you know gameplay, that would that's Mass Effect is great. <laughs> Like, if you're getting, I mean, you're getting three games for the price of one, so it's kind of like one of those things. That is just, it's really hard to compare with that. Where are the control sticks on this thing? Right, Lucas, and that's, a lot of people share that. I haven't played, I only played, I think, three and Andromeda. So eventually I would like to play, I would like to play, you know, all of them over again. Uh, man, it's just, you know, whenever you're not the only person who's come in and said, I'm debating on this or Mass Effect, and it is really hard to say 
this over Mass Effect. Uh, especially whenever you get in all three games. But I will say, if you choose to like buy this, um, know that it starts out slow and it kind of gets better as you go. <laughs> Just flip the switch of the generator to produce superheated glowy air and get on it when the lightning forms. Whatever, man, as long as he's not a radiation monster, we're good here. So note to self, do not, uh, do not stand in one spot. Dang, that was rough. That's actually, there's only been a few times where I've got annihilated like that. That, that stung a lot. <laughs> I, I forget which weapon that I have on right now. to happen with your key energy level. How many more of these do we need? How many of those do we have? Is it going to tell me? Nine. Oh, we need nine more. Oh, e waste. Hard to find. You did good, but the lightning did all the work. Head back to Click to amp up the clonk fist. Give it a little kick. You know, so far, I think I only need the Clonk Fist and the Crowbar to be upgraded to get into things, but I'm not like 100% sure. I know we haven't talked to everyone we can talk to.
Oh, you know what? I just remembered the whole reason that we were. Click says your fist is charged and ready to punch a hole through anything that stood in your way in the past. Click's worked out the locks of the world, but still needs to make the keys. He figures he could make a skeleton key, a key that will unlock any old lock, if only he had a back-in-time bone. He's talking about remains of the dead and gone. And that means a chill down your spine as this bone comes from a particular site. The gone forevermore. Thinks you might have unlocked the secret to his plan. Click says you're locked together in fate. Understands you. Okay, so supposedly he's talking about making a skeleton key. It will work for every lock. Now, if that's true, we have got to go make that. Like, now. Like, right meow. Uh... Because, I mean, loot. And keys. And, yes. <laughs> I'm sold. Give me, give me the skeleton key. You know, I thought that this was a tomb, but last time I was here, I couldn't go down into it. Oh, okay. Good thing yeah. you're not claustrophobic. You know, we upgraded this. I wonder what it, uh, what the damage upgraded to on it. Oh, it's still only 300 to 350. Okay, let's switch off of that. Seems like a peculiar item. This is the first giant skeleton we've seen. Muga Osseus. Great shot. We also got to go back and help Moog hunt monsters. Because he has an unarmed weapon that I really want to try to get. See how good it is. Click is thrilled with the back in time bow. Says there's enough to make a skeleton key for you too. Click felt there was no point telling you about a secret door if he couldn't provide you a key. But now he has one, he can. But he cautions you. You never know what hides behind the old doors. Best be careful. You're a key figure now. 
Chica says if he knew that, it wouldn't still be locked, would it? <laughs> Wonders how you manage to unlock yourself an ark. Hard to find, much less get into. That's the way to unlock any puzzle. Thinks the Ark opens up a big solution for you. With the world dying, you need one. Says you did the right thing working to break this place apart. It's not worth saving. Never was. Says he hears there are open seats on the Ark. How are you going to fill them? So what we have oh, again? So soon? There's a seat open on the Ark, but why would you want this company? He's kind of like another engineer, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know what? Whatever. I'm so glad you chose that. We're born alone. We live alone. So let's not meet the end on our own. Being alone is not the same thing as being lonely. And now we don't have to be lonely. It'll all work out in the end. The end must justify the means. So let's hope the Ark is strong enough to carry us all into the future. Can't believe you're bringing him along on the Ark, but he's... Click says he's locked. 